Hi. Um, I have an note that I found in my mom said, I'm so tired of this. And it says, okay, so I'm so fucking tired of having to semi-revolve my decisions based off of whether or not my family will support me or like them on my own damn decisions. Whether it's my hair, face, or body. I do what I like, and I'm tired of confining myself because of disapproval by family. I want to sit here and say I'm grown, then let me do whatever it is that grown folks do. Which is, make my own decisions and following them through. I do not care if you like it or love it. It is me expressing my true self. If you do not like it or support it, then get over it. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. If nothing else, at least respect that. <clears throat> With that being said, um, tonight I went and told my sister, I said, hey, for senior, you know, um, I want to try doing hair and makeup. So she was like, why? That's, you know, it's so not you. Like, what are you doing? It's like impress or whatever, da da. And for the longest, I've been sort of bland. I, this is not coming from someone, this is just coming from me, but I've just realized that I've really had a bland way of dressing and being, and, you know, um, I've never been one to really have my hair done every week or every couple of days, or, you know, come up there with um, skirts, blouses, and heels, or, you know, just, just a lot. I haven't really dressed up, you know? And I'm figuring that for my senior year, I'm a junior now, and I'm figuring that for my senior year, <clears throat> I just want to change it up a bit. So I went to get some makeup from Mary Kay, and um, because I really like the way they make your face look really smooth, it doesn't itch, it's it's really good, and um, mostly sewing. As you see, I have a lot of hair. <laughs> So one has to find a way to braid all of that around and then put in the sewing. And so, um, it's really just a new chapter for me. It really is. Um, I want to see myself, you know, I don't know, I want to know that when I'm older I can, I can still dress up like for so long. I've worried about, one, my reputation, since I speak about HIV and AIDS, and two, the approval of my family, whether or not they like it or support it. I know for homecoming, my mom didn't like what I wanted to wear, and I was kind of like, well, what else is there? But then I was also like, you know what? I was just about to say, fuck it, mom. I like this. This is what I really want to wear. Can we go now? I, I really was, because... um. There's been times where I'd like to wear things, and one time my sister sat here and said, you look like a bum. And I was like, what the fuck? You're sitting here calling me a bum. And at the time, she didn't have a job. So I'm like, no job. Don't pay for your car note, car insurance. All you pay for is gas and your cell phone. You don't help out with any of the house bills. How are you calling me a bum when you're a moocher? Really? So, yeah. So, anyway, um, she was just saying that, you know, Brianna, you're doing this to impress your friends and you really shouldn't think about what you And I'm like, you never leave the house without doing your hair and makeup to full extent and dressing up. So, who are you impressing? And if you're trying to sit there and say nobody, then why do I have to be impressing somebody for me want to do that my senior year? So, yeah, that's part one of this discussion. <laughs>